what do you do you believe in God? And I think, okay, there's a couple of mysteries in that question. What do you mean do? What do you mean you? What do you mean believe? And what do you mean God? And you say as the questioner, well, we already know what all those things mean, yep. except belief in God. And I think, no, if we're going to get down to the fundamental brass tacks, we don't really know what any of those things mean. And so for me, belief, okay. for example, is often reflected not so much in proposition as it is in action. If I want to know yep. what you believe, I could ask you, and hopefully you have some idea about what you believe, but I'd rather see what you do. Well, can I can I can I push back a little bit with this? Because, like, for for example, when I was reading your book, uh, your newest book, actually this time, yeah, it's twelve more rules. They're very good books, by the way. I mean, I, I recommend Thank them. You, sir. Honestly, and, buy uh, them if you haven't already <laughs> bought them. It's, I, I would I would specifically recommend the twelve rules for life because the twelve more rules. I have some criticisms of it, but it's good. It's a good book. But one thing you did say about it, you were, you were it's really hard to believe that you're disagreeable. Really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one thing you mentioned in the in the book, you were talking about some psychological theory, which I don't forget. Uh, I forget what it is. What it is right now. But you mentioned something. You said there's, you know, the problem with this such and such theory is that it doesn't have any evidence. Full stop. Categorical. All this, what you're doing now, you didn't mention that. You didn't say, well, it depends on what you mean by this. It depends on what. You, sorry to say, yeah. What well, it depends on what you mean by this. It depends on what you mean. You become postmodern all of a sudden. It's it's like you become now. You, you yeah, well, that's a, <laughs> well, that's a definite. Oh yeah, 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 that's a definite. So here, <laughs> I'm sure you have. This is the most viral clip you probably recognized. So before we get to the Abrahamic experience, if a person's answering questions that you're asking clear questions like that, what what are your initial first pass thoughts on this? Well, ask yourself this, okay? If I asked Jesus, alayhi salam, do you believe in God? What do you think he would tell me? Do you think he would tell me, <laughs> depends what you mean by do. Depends what you mean by believe. Yeah. So is this man, because now what, what he's bringing about is behavioralism. He's saying, look, don't ask me, watch my behavior. Okay, I'm watching behavior. When somebody asks you if you believe in God, you don't answer the question directly. You're unchristlike. If you no. ask Jesus Christ, do you believe in God? Jesus Christ, alayhi salam, he'll tell you, with all my heart, yeah. love the Lord with all your heart. Yeah. This is the first commandment. Yeah. Love the Lord with all your heart. You have, shall have no other God but God. There's only one God, one ilah. It's the foundational cornerstone of religion, the Abrahamic religion. There's only yeah. one God. Now, here's the thing. Jordan Peterson, is, is he loves metaphor, metaphorical truth. And now he's saying, look, forget metaphorical truth. Look at my behavior. Well, I'll, I'll tell you on his behavior. He's not a traditional Christian. He's not a Christian. He's not a believer. Yeah. He's not a believer like Jesus Christ was, like Muhammad alayhi salam was, like Abraham was, like Moses was. If I ask any of the prophets or any of their followers, their sahaba, their disciples, do you believe in God? They would tell me yes, wholeheartedly. Now, if I analyze his actions, he's saying, look, I'm a pragmatist. This is how I would tell you, because he's, he's referring now to behavioralism. Behavioralism is, look, I'm not going to believe anything you tell me. I'm going to watch your behavior, and then I'm going to decipher what kind of psyche you have. So if you go around cursing people, I'm going to say, look, he's antisocial. He's, he's a, he has a psychology of antisocial. Why? Look, he, he curses people. He shoves people. He steps on their feet. He doesn't excuse right. himself. He, he's rude with others. That's how he behaves. I believe his psyche is a certain state. Now, when we ask Jordan Peterson, if you believe in God, after seeing his behavior, I have to tell you, to him, religion is a tool. He, gets, he uses it as a tool to get what he wants in life. It's pragmatic. It's useful to him. It sells him books. It gets him in interesting conversations. It creates peace with one another. It, uh, it's, it's a social element. There's all these benefits. Because if he says yes, if he says yes, how does he satisfy his his, his the critiques of how to prove it? Now yep. the fundamentalist, uh, materialist, atheists are going to come out and say, well, how do you know that? What empirical evidence do you have? What logical evidence do you have? And now he's going to be cross-examined. He doesn't want to take a firm stance. If you ask me if I believe in God, I'll say oh, wholeheartedly yep. yes. Wholeheartedly yes. 
Why? That's how a, a, a mu'min, that's how a believer should be, behave. That's how a believer should respond. So if anybody thinks he's Christian in a traditional sense, I would have to disagree. Honestly, I, I, and, and I have respect for the man for having these dialogues, and I think, yeah. I hope eventually, he, he does make a, a full conversion and commitment. Yeah. However, I don't think he has yet. Yeah, and I, I like the way you, I mean, uh, lots and lots of people are reacting to this particular clip. This is the most viral aspect of the discussion. And I love the way that you've sort of thrown it back at him by saying, well, Jesus, who you claim to follow, would he have answered the question no in that way? 